Hello everyone and welcome back to the Beige Whale, my 1999 4-litre Jaguar S-Type V8. I bought this car for £1,400 back towards the end of 2022 and enjoyed literally three trouble-free miles with it before it ended up costing me a small fortune. All told, I've spent about £6,000, including the purchase price, on this S-Type in the six months or so that I've owned it, and there's still more to do. If you had told me back when I was signing those purchase papers for this car that it was going to be ruinous, stressful, and damn right annoying to own, I would have probably, well, politely set the car on fire and, and run. Every little bill that I've had for the car, I've expected to be the last, but that's still yet to be the case. I suppose owning this car has been a little bit like threading a tent pole. You finally manage to push it further through, only for it to snap in the middle. It's like taking one step forward and two steps back. However, although this car will never be worth close to what it owes me, we have achieved two things. Number one is that we've kept an almost 25-year-old Jaguar on the road, a rare one too. If you go onto Auto Trader or eBay right now and look up Jaguar S-Types with this early 4-litre V8, I guarantee you'll, you'll probably find no more than five, maybe 10 at a push of these examples for sale. If I was a betting man, I'd put money on the fact that probably half of these cars ever made have ended up in a skip because of mounting bills and, and corrosion. But most importantly of all, we've kept this car on the road long enough so that my now wife could be dropped off to the church in it for our wedding and she'd wanted that ever since we'd bought this car but why why did she want this to be her wedding car especially when we had a db5 and a audi r8 at our disposal for the day as well well there's a story to be told there and so i'll let you know after this short message from today's video sponsor i think you're going to like this one so I actually have to ask you a stupid question, which is, would you like some free beers? Well, that's exactly what today's video sponsor, Beer52, are offering my amazing audience, you guys. You can go to www.beer52.com forward slash Joel to claim your free case of beer right now. All you have to do is cover the £5.95 postage cost. Beer52 send their members a case of unique and varied beers from different parts of the world each month. Also, with their Ferment magazine, you can learn about beers and breweries around the world. These guys have actually visited over 40 different countries. And if dark beer is not your thing, you can also choose the light only case. There's also a couple of delicious snacks to indulge with your beer too. Wow, that's gorgeous. If for whatever reason you're not satisfied, you can pause or cancel your membership at any time. So go to beer52.com forward slash Joel, beer52.com forward slash Joel to claim your free case right now. Before we talk about my now wife Katie's love affair with the Jaguar S-Type, I just wanted to say a very quick mention and thank you to Brooklyn's Cars Limited for letting me use their Aston Martin DB5 on the wedding day. I used the DB5 to drive myself and my best man to the church before the service and then to drive away with Katie and after the service to go and take some photos and stuff, which was, as you can imagine, truly pinch myself material. This particular DB5, because it belongs to friends of mine, I've known for probably almost a decade now. And I actually did a road trip alongside that car in 2019, all the way down into Tuscany in Italy. And so, yeah, to be able to drive that on my wedding day was truly, well, will be truly memorable forever. Maybe I should see if they'll let me do a fuel economy run in it. <laughs> and also a special thank you to Louisa Audi UK for facilitating the loan of an Audi R8 rear wheel drive performance for the week of my wedding. The R8 actually served as my daily for the week. So it was used for sort of ferrying outfits to and from the Isle of Wight where our wedding was. And also it's what Katie and I drove away in from the end of the day off to our honeymoon in. And then we spent the first few days actually touring Cornwall in the R8. So massive thank you to them for loaning that car. And 
the R8, unfortunately, has been discontinued. And it's a very special car to me now, and it will be sorely missed. But anyway, why is it then that KT loves the Jaguar S-Type so much? And, and why, out of all the cars in the world, would she choose our very questionable beige example here to be the one to take her to the wedding in? I wanted to tell you this story outside alongside the car, but as you can probably see in here, it's absolutely howling in there, and I have a feeling it's going to really start raining in a second but you should be able to hear me okay in here but it all started about 10 years ago when Katie's dad bought a Jaguar S-Type there was actually a specific reason for him buying an S-Type but I'll tell you that in a minute but Katie absolutely loved that car she remembers the comfortable seats in the back the wooden dash driving along doing lots of family trips listening to the soothing sounds of Gilbert O'Sullivan and of course, that's just created so many fond memories of the S-Type for her. She loved how classy it looked and she also loves the distinctive retro grill at the front. And so when I was looking for a cheap V8 to feature on the channel and stumbled across this Jaguar, I showed Katie and, and she fell in love. For me at the time, the S-Type had looks that only a mother could love and I would sooner have had an X-Type or maybe a XF if the budget could stretch. But when we actually went to go and look at this S-Type, I think it was a done deal. We both fell in love, I think, with the beige paintwork, the wooden steering wheel, although truth be told, I was getting all giddy about the 4-litre V8 under the bonnet. Nonetheless, we bought the car, and that's when I found out that the reason Katie's father had bought an S-Type almost a decade ago was actually for the purpose of taking Katie's sister to her wedding in. So naturally, this car had to then play that role we had to carry on the tradition so that then is why this car is still driving it's why i'm still sat in it now and truth be told although what i want most of the time is 20 minutes locked in a room with this car and a steel hammer i just i couldn't bring myself to hurt it but as you know the story with this s-type is not over it's sort of played its part now and it was so wonderful to have it there on the wedding day and i'm so so happy Katie got to sit in the back of it with her father driving it to the church. I mean, it's just truly fantastic. Um, but there's still stuff to do with this car. We need to sort the rust out. We need to sort the brakes out. I'm still waiting for those to arrive. And so the content with this car is not over if you do enjoy it. However, I think it is time probably to start the hunt for something, well, I say different. No doubt I'll end up with some old barge like this, but a hunt for another car on the channel so i welcome any comments as always below as to what you think i should get next but of course this s type's not going to go anywhere it'll either stay with me or maybe katie's dad will have it for a while but i think this car especially after everything we've spent on it and now everything it's done for us it will have to stay in the family forever so now at this point very quickly if you're one of my 70 percent of regular viewers that are not subscribed to the channel uh, well, please go and hit the red button below now and subscribe because uh, we really want to hit the target of 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So, yeah, if you're watching this video right now and you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that button below. But yes, let's hope then that we can keep this Jaguar S-Type on the road for, well, decades more to come, maybe another 25 years, who knows? And, uh, well, thank you all so much for watching the content and I'll see you all very very soon i've got to get out and get some shots of the car now but i think it might have to wait